I built a um, 16 bit stereo whip player uh, based on uh, AVR. And, um, um, and it's, it's 16 bit, 44 kilohertz, right? Yeah, so 44 kilohertz. Okay. So it's full, C, it's full CD quality. Full CD quality, yeah. Um, and if we look down here, I see it. So it's playing off an SD card. Going back to the AVR, turn up the music so we can hear it. Okay. And what is the what is the flashing light doing? There? Oh, it's, a, uh, it's actually uh, toggles when the buffer is full. Okay. Yeah. Turn back. So the LED toggles when the buffer so that's a debugging aid that you had to... Yeah, debugging so. progress. I need to check the buffer quality. Yeah. And so you, you had to do all kinds of optimization to make this thing work. You had to... Yeah, I mean the timing is very important in this uh, project. Uh, uh, the software, software architecture, I mean I drew the software flow diagram firstly and then I started writing the code. But still, I find so many steps in the box, all relevant about uh, of time, time, time arrangement. Since I mm, not only need to guarantee the audio quality, I mean the interrupt service routine cannot be too long. Okay, I need to keep it short. You're right. And also, I need uh, I need to squeeze time to do the to remove the glitches of the key. I need to scan scan the key. See, so you're scanning the, the, the push buttons for stop and start and for a new track. Yeah. And you are, uh, but you also have to read four bytes off of the SD card for every sample as well as play back the sample itself. Yeah, exactly. So, and the SPI, you're yeah. using a hardware SPI channel, a double buffered SPI channel, or? A, double buffered SPI channel. So you can at least make sure it's busy. Still, as long as there is a slot yeah. in the buffer, the SPI will stop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So show show the button action now. Turn back up the music and change tracks. Cool. Again, change tracks again. Okay, now then there's a pause function, and unpause it again. Well, the action's nice, it's smooth. I just, just use the time slot between, I read the blocks between as, uh, in SD card. So, actually, the SPI speed is uh, 8 MHz, I think. Yeah, so, you're running, so you're running as fast as you can run it? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to miss anything. And uh, uh, between the time slot, uh, when I re uh, reading the whole block data from SD card, that's 512 by bytes. I do the calculation. I know the uh, time slot between I read two blocks. Uh, I use this slot to remove the glitches of the keys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so. I mean, I'm listening. I've been listening carefully to the music, and I don't hear any discontinuities or glitches in there at all. So, so you must. How did you debug this? By listening to it, it sounds like it must have been painful to debug it. Very hard, actually. I'm uh, during debugging process. I mean, I use the software converter to just generate about five to ten seconds the wave fire very small mm -hmm. okay as long as it can play normally yeah, I, I change to larger fire and add finally the whole wave fire yeah. very impressive it's a it's a but the maximum speed I can get is actually relevant to the fire format I mean for 16 stereo yeah. wave fire yeah indeed I can the maximum sampling rate is 44. But for 8 bit stereo, it can be higher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
but still, this is, I mean, this is this is beautiful quality. It's very nice. Thank you. All right.